This season on Must Beat Ice, when the Princess of the Golden Valley is kidnapped by the Dreadlord Moto, the Serpent King, our band of pint-sized heroes set out on a perilous quest to rescue her. Our heroes have finally made it deep into the dungeons of Castle Xanadoom and found their precious princess. Will our heroes be able to defeat King Moto and rescue the princess? Will Neville and Bobbins ever settle on the proper depth dimension of a soup bowl? Does Princess Gigi have any hope of finding their rich pervert? Find out on this week's Must Be Dice. I'm your Dungeon Master, Daniel Schneider, and welcome to the season finale of Super Princess Rescue Quest. Today I'm running my game, Fave, for a few good friends of mine. Fave is a hack together rule set of some D&D like games that is very rules light. My friends are wonderful and smart, and I would love to have them introduce themselves. I'm not smart. <laughs> Many say I'm not wonderful. Many say I am. Patrick, Patrick. Brown, everybody. I'm Patrick. Well, I say, I say I don't, Patrick's smart. I don't know about Bobbins, though. Well, I'd say proudly stupid, which is an admirable <laughs> in its own way. <laughs> True. And I'm I'm Elise Williams, and I am playing Neville Short Pants, and he's all right. He's, you know, he's a, he's a, he just tries. He's, he's trying his best. He's a bit of a try hard, some might say, but. Also yeah. very stupid. No. No. Uh, and I'm Lindsay, and that's Charlotte. And we're the twins, Gladys and, and Gwendolyn. And we're sisters. Are we doing this part? And, and we're friends. And, twi and, and twins. friends. And yeah. friends. <laughs> that was perfect. It's definitely not yeah. been six well, weeks. It, ha it hasn't been. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been a little while since we shot last. Yeah, you know, we're, we're, but we're back. Close. We're back. <laughs> we're back, and we're excited to, you know, get out there in the world after captivity and find another place to spend the rest of our lives indoors and, in. Yeah, and find our pervert. Our pervert. Oh, that's right. You were looking for a rich pervert. A really quite wealthy pervert. To wear. I'll just do a little recap since it has been almost two months since we've we've been here. But you guys have finally made it to the end of your quest and you find yourselves deep in the dungeons of King Moto's Castle Xanadum. You're in this series of chambers. It's designed to harness magical energy and focus it and open a portal to another world. This main chamber that you're in is spherical, like you're inside an orb. And it's got a large dome ceiling and a sunken floor. And there's this raised platform in the center of the room that contains a pool of water. And uh, last time your princess daffodil was floating above this as part of the ritual. Uh, the room to the north contains uh, what you call the godstone. And it's the first source of power in this portal ritual. The large green gemstone is firing an arcane burst of energy that is focused around the chambers and directed through the princess to open a door to another world. Currently, the portal is opening, but is stalled because Princess Daffodil was removed from the middle of the chamber. And we were in the middle of a fight last time where Princess Gigi mm -hmm. uh, was in that middle of the pillar and rescued Princess Daffodil by shoving her out onto the far uh, platform. Neville had picked up Princess Daffodil and was trying to, mm, I don't know, leave the castle with her, something, yeah. something along those lines. Bobbins and Pogo, instead of helping Neville get the princess out of the chamber, remembered that their focus was the Godstone. So you guys ran after the Godstone. As soon as you rounded the corner, the evil blue wizard snake creature Kotango was staring right at you. And like, what is the Godstone? It's a secret. Oh, no, no, okay. no. Is it a secret the, still in the show? Um, I, I think I've done a, a horrible job of explaining it, but so the, the Godstone is actually a princess. Scabrous tried to explain it to you once and I don't think you believed him. Oh. So that was what was happening to Princess Daffodil. She was slowly being transformed into this gem. <gasps> and it would open a specific portal to another world. Gotcha, okay. So if you put a gem in the center where you had Princess Daffodil, then the gem would turn back into a princess. So that's the reason Moto what? had, exactly. <laughs> it, it, that's the reason Moto had a Princess Gigi, is she was a backup plan to open another portal to another world. We'll, we'll get to that in, at a certain point. We did leave King Moto in the first chamber that you were in, with the different triangular pillars, he was asleep. You guys cast a sleep spell on him. Mm -hmm. He was kind of fighting it off. He was a little drowsy, but you put him down. And Kotengo had deployed the Godstone, which was firing that energy burst around the different rooms. Yeah, so that's where we were. Uh, and Kotengo is still like in the fray, right? So yeah, Kotengo, he's that he's that kind of mass of snakes. He's wearing a blue cape and um, kind of his his head is this magenta orb that the snakes have kind of wrapped around that use use as a focus and uh, you know moto is he's the the serpent king he's this 8 foot tall lizard creature with sharp yellow teeth red hair um big black spiky armor gotcha. and he uh, he he wields this mace like a, this this magenta rod so um we are in the middle of the battle and um we'll just cut back a few seconds bobbins you yes. remember Neville has just asked you 
to help get Daffodil up and out of the room while Moto Moto is down. But you remembered the Godstone. Yeah, I think I ran. Didn't I run and confront Kotengo in the last one? You did. You so you. We're, we're, I'm just cutting back a few minutes for the sake of us starting up. But you you sprint up this northern chamber mm-hmm. and round the corner, and Kotengo is staring right at you as you round the corner. So I kind of imagine you're, you know, you're sprinting and then slow down the second you see him and kind yeah, of yeah. maybe slide. Yes. And oh, I, cool. I loose an arrow. He's waiting for you. And as soon as you round that corner, he launches a lightning bolt. Fuck. Right at you. Okay. Do I have uh, to dodge or anything? What's your AC? Which, is that armor? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Bonus or defense? I know I made this game, but I mix the terms up with D&D and every other game I know. So it'd be your armor defense. 13. You take four damage from this lightning bolt. He's reading a spell book, launches a lightning bolt right at Bobbins and Pogo, and it tags them both. Pogo, I don't... Does he have stats for Pogo? Pogo does not have stats. Okay, <laughs> Pogo takes two damage. He hides you, behind me. You take four damage. All right. Or lightning shock. Okay. Neville, what are you doing? Um, I have got the princess, and I'm just, like, trying to lift her. She's a, it's a, I mean, he's a little guy, so it's a lot just to carry another person, and I'm trying to make my way toward the, um, the room with the triangles there. Okay, so you heft her up over your shoulder, I'm guessing. And one thing you notice about Daffodil is that her skin has started to turn green and oh. harden. Is that like the godstone? So yeah, it's ex- exactly like the the gemstone. <laughs> her her skin is hardened <laughs> and, and like maybe like like her right leg has turned oh. and, and okay. s- started to crystallize. Uh, uh, princess, uh, you get a little bit heavier than I remember you being uh, 30 seconds ago. You can't just uh, say you that. You can't to say a that. I'm sorry, but she's turning to, she's crystallizing. And she's still unconscious, so you're you're talking to a sleeping. Yeah, woman. yeah. Okay. I mean, now that she's turning to stone, it's. A, but they hear and are responding, but only in dreams, <laughs> not audibly. <laughs> only in dreams. Yeah. Only in dreams. You start to make your way across the chamber uh, with with Daffodil hefted up over your shoulder, and just as you make it to the southern side of this chamber, you look up. You're about to kind of throw her up and climb up onto the onto the platform to leave you look up and see king moto standing standing above you wasn't he unconscious he's fought off his sleep spell uh, oh. and he he stands towering over you what and oh uh, no I short think, nap i didn't <laughs> think that he would i thought he would be, uh, we put him down we swear he's chomping his his big big lizard jaws you know his Kind of are you awake now? Where, where are we? We've never been asleep. We weren't. You, you, y'all are on the middle pillar. You were asleep when she picked you up. What? The other princess no, is asleep. Daffodil. Oh, the other. There are oh, two Daffodil. princesses. She could never sorry, be sorry, sorry, sorry. I would say read the That's room. I was trying to like get an mental image of a halfling carrying a two-headed <laughs> giantess. Giant, yeah. <laughs> I look up at Moto and I say, "Get out of here!" Like like I would have when I was in the field with the birds as a as a <laughs> on, as a happening. I say, "Get out of here, Moto! Nobody wants you here. Get out of here! We're not scared <laughs> of you anymore. Get out of here!" And he he just laughs it off, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Impudent whelp! You don't know what you are fucking with, child. Child, F word. He breathes a cone of fire into the room. I mean, he just spreading it around. I have my mirror shield. Can I kind of like brace that in front of me? Can I just kind of like swivel it off? What is your armor defense, GG? 13. 13? Mm-hmm. So he, he starts breathing towards Neville. Neville turns around and the mirror shield refl- shoots his fire yeah. right right back at him. He, you know, he's, he's sort of immune to fire, but takes a, a little bit of a, a, a back and swings around, shooting his cone of fire at Princess Gigi, who, with their little little tiny mirror, are able to deflect some of the damage, but still take eight fire damage. Eight and, fire um, damage. I guess your beautiful princess dress starts to crisp up and burn up. <laughs> Sorry, PA, can we get a match out here? We just, we want to commit. Oh, no. <laughs> burn our... <laughs> we didn't do a safety meeting before this. And Moto. You will not stop me. I will make it home and there's nothing you can do about it. I've spent decades on my search for my home, and you little children shall do nothing to stop my journey. Well, you know what? We're going home too, and the princess is going home. So you mind your own beeswix, <laughs> Moto, and uh, just let us out of here. It's uh, Princess Gigi's turn. Oh, we're so mad at him. I'm so really, really mad we're at Modo. I'm, I'm mad angry. at Modo. But I, I would attack him, but the whole Jerry thing has got me feeling oh, quite I was upset. So Neville nods. Jerry. He knows how much Jerry meant to the... <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, right, and, and he used to bring us our food. And so I'm not really... I'm not vibing with 
violence, you know. Uh -huh. Maybe we could in, pa pacifistically distract him. Yeah, okay, so we could be a bit passive aggressive. A bit, yeah. Well, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think ag I think aggressively passive. Okay, aggressively passive. Yeah. Oi! Hey! Modo! Modo! What? You! You! We hear you farting in the night. <laughs> we hear you're a bad lay. <laughs> what, yeah. what are y'all trying to do? You're Hit his to feelings! Just, Hit just his keep, feelings, just girls! Keep his, just keep his sight off Neville. We wanna, and, and we're creating that. like a distraction. Cut him to uh, the core, cool, girls! But we also are gonna, we're gonna move fast if he takes our- Roll action. a charm check for me. Uh, easy, oh, yeah. we're so very charming, so Roll a, a 20 under your charm defense. It's a six. You, you or got it. Or is it, it a so nine? You're, no. you're trying to distract him, essentially. Oh, low yeah. good? Low is good. You're low rolling good. under. So we're like, boo, Modo. Oh, <laughs> you right get. Who cut your hair, a blacksmith's uh, um, whore? Oh, huh? you think you could just collect all these princesses like what? Pokemon? Well, you know what I say oh. is, no. No, this no. ain't no Pokemon, Naki. This is in a, Japan, you know a famous is? Japanese game. What? We, it's time for us to get our freedom back. What? Japan exists in this world. We're taking it back. <laughs> Hit him, girls. Tell him. Hit his feelings. Crunch you've got him. you've got oily scales. My, uh, scale. I wouldn't touch you with a a thirty one and a half foot pole. And flaky. You must be allergic to all them soaps. So, so flaky. Somebody call. Uh, someone to sweep up all these flakes. Oh, you, I bet you know the Geico Gecko. Oh my, yeah, oh Geico my. also. Okay, Geico. girls, that's, oh. that's probably enough. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. You got him, though. Like, oh, you, okay. you're, you're, you're her, you know, uh, he, uh, he's the dreadlord uh, servant. I spit. <laughs> I spit. You know, Chewing tobacco? Spit? <laughs> no. no. Chewing. Yep, you hit him with that dip. I'm a no, the princesses have been doing chewing tobacco no, the whole no, time. No, I only I think that's no, no. Now. Yeah. Hear it. Neville backs it up. Patch. Neville backs it up. <laughs> so your your words cut deep to the heart. You know, this is the dread lord, the serpent king, and and the princesses double teaming him with their quick mm -hmm. talk and their sass. The gift of gab just cut so deep that That's he, what the G's he starts to crack a little tear. His mother had two heads and was also a huge bitch. <laughs> so he's, he's having is, flashbacks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so he's completely distracted, uh, you know, in his own world. Disarmed. And it's Bobbin's go. You just rounded the corner, took a, a lightning bolt to the chest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I go. He's scorched. Is his hair uh, like all standing on end? Yeah. Absolutely. And like kind of charred on the end. And his beard straight out. His eyebrows out. are singed off. From the ground, I remember that uh, the mongoose is a close relative of the weasel and can easily take on a cobra <laughs> un unassisted without the aid of any tools or weaponry. <laughs> and seeing the snakes and looking over to Pogo, I, I motion for him without even really using word. I mean, I kind of whisper like, uh, and I, I send Pogo launching across at the ball of snakes. Oh, you snakes. like fling him? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I okay. throw him. I Well, first I pick him up and then I go like this and he becomes rigid. Yeah. And then I... <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a cartoon? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then I draw back my bow and <laughs> fire him. Cartoon. Oh, wow. And he's screaming and it all works. the while. It works. He's like, so aerodynamic, yeah. 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 Roll an attack for me. Add your steel bonus. Uh, that would be 20. Oh, 20. Okay. Not natural 20. 20. So you pull back Pogo and your bow. You fire him right at Kotengo. He, you know, kind of slips right into the snakes. He goes... And, and you, you see the snakes kind of um, that make up Kotengo start to bleed. You see blood oh. flying out and, oh. and snakes flying onto the ground as Pogo's ripping up through the whole body of this thing okay. and, and up to the head. And you see him wrapping around the head, just ripping the throats out of these snakes. It's all throat. It's all throat. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I put Pogo on Kotengo's chest and then I put a metal bucket on top and I... <laughs> Put fire yeah, yeah. to the bucket, <laughs> okay. so so he has no place but and to I burrow is... into Katango's heart. <laughs> it's <still> dark. Yeah, <laughs> this is just like the scarab in the mummy, my <laughs> yeah. favorite book. As um, Pogo's ripping up through Kotango, that magenta orb that uh, was Kotango's head flips around and and reveals kind of a, a soft, gooey, gray, oh. meaty Ew. bit. So it's like the back of the orb the whole time. It's almost like a brain. Yeah. It like flips yeah. around and you see this kind of dripping, oozy meat area. What do you do to the meat area? I fire an arrow into it, into right. the meat. Roll an attack for me? The flesh. I, I, I identify the flesh. <laughs> is, is this a ranger ability? Shit. Anyone? Is it 10? 19. 19. Holy shit. So 
that's like 24. Is it D8 plus anything or just D8? It would be a D8. D8 right? Yeah, four. Okay, so four. four but D8. since you're, um, you've kind of targeted the, you know, it's the weak spot of, mm -hmm. of, of the villain. Double that to, to eight. Oh, eight. Well, wow. actually, roll it again. Make it more fun. All right. Instead of just doubling it. One. <laughs> oh, great. So five. <laughs> we cut back to that center chamber. You've cut to the heart of Modo and have drawn his attention away from Neville and the princess, and he is focused on you. He uh -oh. leaps over to the center pillar platform. I guess you're much... How tall are you? You're like 11, 12 feet tall. 12 feet, I think. Mm, yeah. So Modo, he's got this, this magenta orb mace. He whips it around and hits you right in the gut. Oh! All the breath goes out of you, and he grabs you and throws you up into that center platform and you start floating like Princess Daffodil yeah. was in the, in the last episode. And you're sort of frozen there, floating, and the ritual is able to continue. So this arcane energy burst princess. that's firing through you is is rippling horrible, painful energy through your body. Uh, when we got punched, did we throw up a little bit on Modo? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, good. Ah! <laughs> such a oh, it's, it's really hurts. It hurts so much. Ow. Owie, owie. Ow, my bones and my flesh and my plasma and my marrow and my uh, arteries and my Neville's veins. Neville's seeing this happening to yeah. them. He's oh, seeing my them. toes. All of our toes. <laughs> All of them. He Gills. sees it and he likes it. Gills, Gills. He's got, he's got Princess hot. Daffodil. Hot, 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 hot. Still, but he, he's got, I guess I kind of put down, gingerly put down Princess Daffodil for the time being. Okay. <laughs> Gills. <laughs> You're biting quips. Ah. Oh, Moto, we'll pay for this. And then I, I try to, after I put her down, I try to go over and help uh, Princess Gigi. Okay, okay. We'll, ah. we'll, we'll get to that in just a minute. Okay. We need to cut back to the room that Bobbins is in. And Kotango is in, in furious pain as you've exposed you know, oh, his brain-like thing. And he, he pulls out another spell book <laughs> another and, and does it, you know, chants. Some language you don't understand. Mm -hmm. And the moisture in the air starts to freeze, and ice icicles start to form around him, and he's he's targeted Pogo uh -oh. with, with an ice attack. You see Kotengo reach, reaches, you know, he's got like an arm made of snakes, reaches yeah, yeah. into his body and grabs Pogo out, and you see Pogo as this huge icicle, <laughs> and he throws it on the ground. No! Pogo! <laughs> I fire in, uh, I f in uh, through my through my tears, uh, losing my best friend. But my do we only know? Like, no, we'd be super sympathetic if we weren't yeah. burning alive on the inside right I, now. I, oh, I it's fire my arrow again, <laughs> or fire my bow again into into right. Katango's. Roll to attack. Maybe Pogo's okay though. See, so yeah, a Pogo, he 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 crashes, he shatters. You see a little tiny Martin leg that's separated from the rest of it. And, and he's, he's a little I'm, I'm scrambling, trying to pick up the pieces and put them back together. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's like a puzzle. Like yeah. saving Private Ryan, picking up the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the beach. Oh, what wow, that? 17. 17? 22. All right, that hit. roll your damage twice. <laughs> Two eights. Okay. Ooh, what's that? What's that, four? Mm-hmm. It was eight. You're shattered. You see Pogo, your best friend who disappeared for half the show, is now possibly dead. Probably seems dead. like he's dead. <laughs> Looks like you're in the market for a new best friend. <laughs> but, you uh, you fire arrows straight into the into the the gray brain of Are you Tango. crying as you fire the arrows? Yeah, and, but no one can see it, so it doesn't count. <laughs> but if you want to describe what what you're doing, you do kill Kotango here. Yeah, through through my tears, which again I keep private because I have. You know the courtesy to not cry in front of others. It sounds like toxic or let anyone masculinity. know that I cried. <laughs> uh, this is one of those things that's Patrick coming through into Bob. We like well, it. No, I just I don't cry. This is a fiction. We don't cry either. We're, we just <laughs> I'm playing a character who does cry, but I don't cry. <laughs> uh, I I throw Pogo's remains in his face to distract him. <laughs> uh, well, they're frozen, so it's yeah, different. no, of course. Uh, and it scratches and goes, <laughs> and then while well, he's distracted. Like, and my aim is true, and it, it shoots straight into his brain. <laughs> that magenta orb just shatters into a thousand pieces. Yes. And, the, and, the, That's what and the cloak falls to the ground. The snakes just scatter. Yeah. And uh, so the cloak falls to the ground, and you see about a, a dozen spell books kind of fell out of the body mm -hmm. uh, of the wizard. And we, we sorry, we, we cut back into this other room, and, and Neville has just seen Princess Gigi get thrown up. Yeah. And what's, what's uh, he doing? Ouch, scrambled, ouch. scrambled over to them. Gills, Gills, 
How can I help? What can I, I do? Care. What can I do? Uh, oh, my intestines and my gl oh. our gallbladder. And I'm afraid if I touch them our that it'll harm me. So you've climbed up onto the pillar? Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, if you, if you want to reach in and grab them, it, unless you're a princess, it mate. might not do anything to you. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to, yeah, I'll reach in and I'll try to. Okay. Do a brawn check for me. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh I, she's got more nerve ooh. endings, so she's in ooh. way more Pop pain than Ouch. 11. Ouch. <laughs> 11? But it's still <laughs> quite endings. uncomfortable. Is that under your brawn? <laughs> It's one under, yeah. Okay. It really hurts. It really, 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 oh, really God. hurts. <laughs> ouch, little, ouch, ouch. Kink in my hip. Ooh, oh, my God. And now I'm having emotional pain. So I'm trying, trying to, to grab pull. them and pull them away from the ritual right. that's happening. You're, what, like three and a half feet tall, maybe? And, and she's so 11. so tall. So maybe well, you, you grab like, like four times yeah. the size of you. You grab like the foot or something and, try, and yank With her out. With your whole body. Yes. No, you're, you're pulling back. And then it, it gives. Yes. And, and you fly back. Princess Gigi flies off the pillar and falls Woo! to the ground, taking... How are you so strong? Four damage to Princess Gigi. Neville, roll a uh, brawn check to make sure you don't fall off the pillar. Under brawn? Under it brawn. failed. So you also fall off the pillar, taking five damage. Oh, well, well, we win! So you guys, you guys fall to the bottom of this spherical chamber. Princess Daffodil has woken up during this commotion and snuck behind King Modo. <gasps> Princess. She's got her sword and she, with just like with every last bit of strength that she got, lunges and jams it up into the side, kind of in a weak point of Modo's armor. Anus. And collapses you know, <laughs> right up the anus of, of King Modo. <laughs> and she collapses to the ground again, having used up all of her energy. <laughs> <laughs> Modo screams. <laughs> 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 he collapses to his knees. My asshole! <laughs> um, he throws up. A, it's like a, a bloody blob of, of blood and guts and, and a little bit of fire, maybe like lava type substance. Mm -hmm. And he, he chokes and a little bit more blood falls out and he starts to chuckle. <laughs> and he, uh, he, uh, he, he's gagging and, and choking up. Sharding so much. Bunch of shit falls out onto the floor. <laughs> His tail um, starts to swell and expand. And then his legs start to blow up. I think. It's blow up eggs. like balloons. His armor crumbles off his body, and suddenly his lower half just explodes outward. His tail and legs expand about 20 feet behind him, kind of wrapping into the chamber. His head starts to swell and his upper body grows and rockets up and then kind of flops uh -oh. forward. And ah. before you now is the final form of King Modo. He's a 30 foot long ancient worm, green armored scales and a long spiked tail. His enormous jaws with jagged yellow teeth are chomping and salivating. Well, he's quite bigger than us. What? Shai Shai yeah. Hood, yes. The, the, maker. the <laughs> maker, is he natty? He's staring right at Neville. That's not very big. Oh. You big small. ugly beast. Is that all you've got? Is this all you've got, huh? Neville, so he's so weakened from the fall. He says, all right, come at you. Come at you. Because, because, because I'll fight you. I'll fight you till the end. And these are my friends. These are my new friends. My ex-girlfriend, my and former girlfriend. That's true, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I forgot about that. It's, it's my because former I was girlfriend. So I'll die protecting her. Thing. And he points over to the Princess Daffodil and he says, and that's my princess. She's going to be the queen someday, and I pledge allegiance to her. And then he, and then he points in the direction of, of Bobbins, and he says, and that's one of my best friends, and I'm going to fight till the end. I don't care how big you are, you big giant meanie worm. I'm going to fight you. And then he takes a step forward toward, he starts to kind of like, almost like do like a half weekend, like charge toward uh, Moto. But then he, what I want to do is tr trip. Like okay. pretend like I'm charging him, but then trip on something and fall and pretend. That's like a prat. Yes, pretend. Essentially, okay. fall, pretend to hit my head, so it looks <laughs> like I've hit my head and I and, and I am now dead. <laughs> so I can so I can use Neville's acting skills to pretend to be dead on the ground. All right, do a charm check. For okay. Me. I love it. I, I, um, the acting is coming back. His, act, his acting is coming back. So a three. So that's way under my charm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you nail it. Um, okay. You know, I, I think Neville's acting is probably a little suspect. But in this in this moment, 
your Oscar worthy. Th- yeah, the physical It'd comedic performance. Award. Yeah, he like you give this impassioned force. speech and immediately trip and fall, and, and it looks bad. Like yeah. you hit your head, and it, it snaps. And, and I, <laughs> I had some tomato paste in my rations, okay. and I kind of like even like when like smear it on. There's a little tomato sauce. Yeah, and then I on just, the floor. I lie there. Oh, and we conscious. believe it too, right? Oh, you believe it? Yeah. Our export is quite believable. And we're like, oh, great speech, poor execution. Um, All your lovers, because Jerry, Jer- Jerry was not our oh, lover. No, oh, could have been. He wishes. <laughs> Jer- Jerry wanted a piece of these ass. More than that, yes. <laughs> and now Neville. Yeah, you completely con King Moto, and he, so he's he was chomping and salivating and ready to eat you. Moto uh, sees Neville. He's distracted, right? It, he's completely distracted, it, like kind of infatuated with the fool that's in front of him. Mm-hmm. And he, you know, he's chomping at the bit, and he smiles. He's big smile. And he and his his giant head comes over mm-hmm. towards Neville to inspect him. <laughs> And Tomato. grips him up in his jaw and, oh. and, and pulls him up onto the top of the pillar and drops him in the water. I imagine and Neville shits himself. Just, just at that time, in, in your head, you, you share a psychic link. Yeah. With uh, yeah. all princesses, share a psychic link. And you hear Calling Princess Daffodil. Calling all princesses. <laughs> she goes, <laughs> We must take this opportunity now. We jump on him and we drown him. Yeah. Yeah. So the Princess right, Daffodil yeah, of course. <laughs> leaps leaps on the back of, of Modo, and you guys are, are down at the bottom of the chamber. Yeah. In combat, you can take a movement and then an action. So Modo has Neville up on the top of the pillar, and Princess Daffodil has just jumped on top of Modo and is trying to grapple his head and, and, and wrestle him. Haste. I want to be yeah. fast. We're going to be fast. We're going to okay. be fast. We're Real fast. Really fast. We cast haste. Okay. We run but, up along the spine. From the tail <laughs> onto the tip, going. Ding, 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 the ding, little, ding. you know, layers of our yeah. dress just flowing That's in the right. wind. Yeah. So, what does haste do that makes you faster? Triple. Triple speed. Triple, triple speed. So you can move all over the place. All right. So you can now move at the speed of a regular person <laughs> for three minutes. All right. So we're there. And we're, we're on, we're the, on, back, top we're of on the back head. of his head, right? We're now we're trying to like head. push him into the water, drown him. That's what we're doing. Okay. So you're giant. So you you are able to grab all of his oh, head. Oh yeah. We're yeah. Quite and, big. and Daffodil's also trying to just push it and kind of jam him in that in yeah. that center water chamber. Yeah. Bobbins. Yeah. You you stand above destroyed enemy, the blue wizard, Kotango. Snakes are scattered, but there's a, a blue cloak and about a dozen spell books and a former best friend, co-worker, I'm not sure. Frozen Robert. is an icicle missing a few parts of his body. I, I dig around in the ropes. What kind of books are you <laughs> Just Just passing over Pogo. Yeah. I already mourned Pogo. I threw his pieces to slay my... That's not mourning. It is mourning. That's how I mourn. Oh, I mean, it's kind I'm of, so sorry. To, does it uh, no, I'm so sorry to yeah. misunderstand Just, your traditions and your practices. <laughs> yeah. That was really insensitive. You know, next thing. time, so, don't talk out of your ass. <laughs> okay, well, first of all, our ass. <laughs> it's our ass. Our ass. Our ass. There's fly. Fly. Can he read that? I can read now. Fly. Fly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's a bunch of these. I guess you, maybe you can like sift through them and decide what you take. Yeah, yeah. There is fly, fireball, darkness. Fear, shield, silence, and there's transmutation. I'll take fly. Cool. Obviously, uh, fear, shield, and then transmutation is I can transform stuff. Here are your spells now. Thank you. You can sort through them. Thank you. You're sorting through this stuff. While you're figuring that out and reading your spells, we will cut back. Princess GG slash Daffodil, it's your turn. You guys have Moto grappled. In like a headlock? On top of the pillar. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're just still. What are you trying to do? We're trying to drown him, right? Like, all right, do um. And where did have to I fall a... in all this? Am I still in his you're jaws? In the pu- pool. So, so you were kind oh, of dropped into the Neville pool. Oh, can we get Neville out? Oh, am I? Like, is it a deep pool? I mean, it's uh, say two feet deep. Oh, okay, so I can stand up in it. We need to do a contested strength check with you and Daffodil against Moto as you're okay. trying to shove his head in the water. So, we should... so that's a twenty and add your brawn bonus. Okay. That's a fourteen. Fourteen. Plus. Ron bonus is five. So 19. So he, he's got a 23. So you you and, and Daffodil, are, his head is just on top of the water. You guys are trying to force it in. And he, he's using his might to just push back up against you. And Neville, what are you doing? You're you're in the water there right next to them as, as this 
face is being forced down. So I've been playing possum using mm. my acting, my acting skills, which I'm known for, to pretend as if I am dead. And I now have the ability to breathe underwater. So From King Krupus, the Frog true, King's yeah. gift. <laughs> May he oh, yeah. rest in peace. So you've just been breathing <laughs> in the water. So I've been using that to my advantage in this regard as well. And I, But I'm seeing through the... <laughs> <laughs> through the uh, water, I'm looking up and I'm seeing this. And, and if you'll recall, my father also drowned. He drowned face first. So this is a little traumatic, actually. So seeing Moto being drowned in this way, it's a little, yeah, it's, it's a little it triggering. It's distressing. Um, but these are my friends. This is my princess. X. And I know that I need to get involved here. So I leap from the water, yeah. reborn, and I'm sure all the little grunts are like, what, what, what? <laughs> He's alive, They're he's alive this whole time. Away. And then I am gonna do a really cool kind of wall run up the side of like a pillar. What? <laughs> you don't have <laughs> There's that like a ability. Pillar nearby. And then I'm going to also leap up and then join the princess GG. And, and give us give And us a help kiss. lending my strength. Right between help. the necks. Right, give yeah, us a, right, yeah, between right the on the necks. And you kiss both of us on the I cheeks. Go, Let's do this, girls. <laughs> and then I'm helping. Point by pushing, <laughs> <laughs> pushing Moto face first into this pool of water. All right, I need you to roll a skill check and a brawn check for me. Or actually, no, just skill check. Sorry. That is a seven, so okay. I'm under. Yeah. And then we'll do a um, another assisted versus brawn check. So, y'all roll a twenty. You yeah. roll a twenty. Add your. Bonus. I want to roll this one. Yeah. Hop, hop. I do this for <laughs> my ex-boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, so 18. 18. No. 17. Holy shit. Plus two, 19. Okay. What is your plus yours? It's 19. Yeah. Moto Ooh. dice. That's seven? Seven. That's much lower. <laughs> it is much lower. Neville, you, you, you kiss Gigi, each one on the cheek. It's platonic. <laughs> <laughs> you jump up on, on, on Moto's giant head. And finally, that's enough to force it into the pool of water. The water's flying everywhere. He's resisting and flipping around. You see the tail in the back is whipping around and actually, you know, knocking bricks and things off the ceiling. You hear a little bit of muffled laughing from underwater <laughs> and get the sense that uh, Moto can also breathe underwater. I was getting that sense, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he can breathe underwater. We've got to do something. The water's not enough. The water's not enough. We know we're right here. I call out. Bobbins, we need your help. We're trying to drown Moto, but the water's not enough. It's not enough. On my way. Where am I? <laughs> am I, am so I you're, in you're, the room now? You were sorting through all these spell books. Yeah. So I, I move into the into the room. Okay, so you run out into this chamber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I say, I hold up a book and I say, Neville, what does this say? You know what it says, Bobbins. I know you know what it says. I hold up another one and I say, what about, and this one? You know what it says, Bobbins. I know in your heart of hearts you know what that says. I hold up another, a third book. <laughs> and this one, Neville. The same sentiment applies, Bobbins. I believe in you. I know you mm. can do it. Very well. I'll give it a shot, but I feel like it'd be easier if you came down and did the reading I for me. I'm but... holding his head in the water. <laughs> All right, very well. Understood. We're being thrashed around right on the head of this giant snake. And then I look at Neville and I look at the, what is the thing that is holding the water? It's a tall pillar and it's kind of like a pool of water that's a couple feet deep. Like, a, top of this like a bird bath. I look like from, a bird bath. I look from the pool to Neville and then back to the- And you, you see Moto's pool. head kind of flat. around. Get up here, Bobbins, help us! And then back to Neville and then back to the pool. We kiss Neville again. <laughs> One last time I look at Neville. And then I look back at the pool and I, I then I, to Neville, I'm like, you're not gonna like this. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not gonna like this? Get the heck and up I here. Use, I use transmutation to turn the water to porridge. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? So, so Moto's thrashing around. He's, he's Read the spell. <laughs> he fabric. Of reality. Reality! Is <laughs> that's what they're calling out. Male abele to to yoru. What tongue is this? Rims. Fat tongue, I think. Fat tongue. Yo. <laughs> Werp. 
Matter and inner. Sound it out. Inner, <laughs> inner guy. Energy. It's energy. It's a soft G, Bobbins. Yo, <laughs> Kane, T Tim, Tim Poor, Ariel, Y, Al Tear. He's learning, girls. He's still learning. <laughs> Pahai Seekill. You're doing it. Pahai Seekill. You're doing great. Properties of one object, changing it from one substance <gasps> into another of similar size and mass. You did it, Bobby! <laughs> you did it! Oh, that bit I understood. I could understand that. It almost sounded like the words we speak. As you finish uh, reading off the spell, the spell book um, just kind of disintegrates in your hand. Mm -hmm. And a uh, flash Ow. of light over the pool occurs and the, the pool of water immediately thickens and what kind of porridge are you, are you transmuting here? What kind of porridge did your father drown in? <laughs> it, was, it was made with oats that were milled from the field that I was a scarecrow. That's in. the porridge. Because <laughs> oh yeah. that, it's the only porridge I know. It's very close to I'm home. not even trying to be a dick. That's just the only porridge the, I know. The, okay, the water I thickens see. into this this weedy porridge, yeah. chunky weedy porridge. Are there like raisins or fruit in it? Oh yeah, there's dried okay, fruit. Okay, there's all yeah. kinds of dried fruit. Should I cast Disgusting. fear on Neville? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> as, as Moda was thrashing but also laughing, breathing in water and the, the water all in his, in his lungs and around him immediately thickens into porridge and he just chokes and the body his body immediately goes flat. He's just and the whole body goes limp and he cuts black. Oh no wait. Oh. A gift from Jerry! <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. <laughs> it said over black. <laughs> <laughs> we fade up and about fifty days have passed, almost two months, and we find Neville, his arms outstretched back in his old Farmer Fudwick's field, fending off some birds. Get out of here, birds. Get out of here. Scram, birds. Scram, get, get out of here. You got no place here, birds. Yeah. <sighs> get out of here. I'm a ski crow. Get out of here. One of the birds fly, does a flyby real close. Ah, ah, don't even think about stopping, bird. Keep, keep walking. Keep flying. Keep going. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. The horizon behind you... And the trees in the forest actually look a little flat, maybe like a painted background. And we pull back and actually reveal Neville is is doing his scarecrow bit in the background of a play he's on a, the stage. <laughs> Pretty far in the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's very much in the background. He's but he's a, on stage. He's a real actor now. Yeah. He's a real yeah. actor. He's a real actor. <laughs> he's a real actor. Well, yeah, there's a scene happening in front of oh, him. Oh, yeah, yeah. What, what's this, what, uh, what play are you in, Neville? So I'm in the play that is the story of the Valiant Knight Recti. Who's playing you? I'm in the va very background as yeah, a scarecrow, yeah. but then in the foreground <laughs> on another podium is another halfling, or actually like a man standing on, or I guess no, we're all halflings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's another halfling who's just slightly taller than me. Better who's looking. Better looking, yeah. more muscular. <laughs> no yeah. um, he's standing on a podium. Uh, and but he's playing Neville Short Pants. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> was this was this you and Recti in the past when you were buds, or is this more as your adventure? Part? This is. I think this is. Yeah, we're telling the story. This is play is the story of the hero Recti <laughs> and his you know his his quest mm -hmm. to save the princess and how heroic he was. Yeah. But the play ends when he dies. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't tell about how we actually went on to finish the quest. No, and, no, no, no. no. Yeah. So yeah. So there's Recti. And but his, you've like, made armor. it. Neville, I made Neville's it. Made it. This yeah. is like the Queen's play. The, 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 prin the Queen's Princess the, no, Theater. No, no. Well, I think the the King died the king while y'all were away. Oh. So when you return to the valley, the princess has now been so it's the Queen's uh, crowned theater. the Queen. So yeah, yeah, there's not just some princess's troop of actors. This is the, the I Queen made it. of the Golden troop. Valley. I made it to the Guild. And I imagine doing background work in community theater. <laughs> <laughs> Probably pays more than being a living scarecrow. Is, is the audience enjoying it? They're loving it. And one member of the audience is is particularly proud. Bobbins, you actually, you stand on the scaffolding kind of up above. <laughs> like you're, the, you're still in the shadows. He's like the phantom of the Yeah, opera. yeah. He, he's still, you know, he likes the shadows a little bit. Even I, don't want, I don't want anyone to know him at the theater. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty embarrassing to be yeah, in the yeah. theater. But you're, you're, you know, you're up in the scaffolding above looking down proudly at your friend. Um, and we actually, we notice a little insignia that you wear on your cape. 
is that of the second sword. You are a ranger, but you've been promoted to the Queen's Guard. And Queen's you're the new Guard. second sword in the Golden Valley. That's big time. You, you're, oh, yeah. you're a ranger. You're a, a lone wolf. I am, and I, I still bring those principles to the post, I think. Okay. Uh, but ultimately, I did, I do, uh, I did take a position. Yeah, I took Recti's job. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, Neville's. This is the opening night performance, maybe. Sure. And Neville, you know, he's looking out into the crowd, and he doesn't see. He thought Bobbins would come, but he doesn't see him out oh. there. Bobbins casts fear on. <laughs> <laughs> he's I don't do. fear, dude. He's getting that's afraid. Weird. No, no, I think that's great. But yeah, he, Does he pee himself. Yeah, no, I don't cast. I don't cast fear. He's looking out. He doesn't. He doesn't see. He doesn't see Bobbins out there. Oh no, maybe he didn't come. Oh. Bobbins takes his hood off briefly because he sees Neville desperately looking, <laughs> and he kind of oh. nods and there gives he a sees, thumbs up, and then and then quickly puts he sees back he up. sees Bobbins there, and then we sees Bobbins. He he gets a little bit louder. He get out of here, please. <laughs> And all the actors turn and look at him because yeah. he's not supposed to be. He's, he's, it's not a speaking role. No, it's not a speaking well, role. Okay, I was going to say, you have one line. Yeah. Yeah. I think you need to roll a charm check okay. to see if you fumble it or not. 19. <laughs> you fumbled the shit out of your one line. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's supposed to be under. Get boots out of here. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Dang it. Get. Get here out of. No, that's not it. What is it? What do I have to say? Uh, I was practi- I practiced. Is it written with- anywhere? I rehearsed with Bobbins. <laughs> Bobbins helped me rehearse so much. Get out of here, birds! <laughs> get out of here, birds! Does it get a big laugh from the audience? Yeah, everyone's, la- but yeah. they're laughing because you fumbled it. Oh, not yeah. because of the line. But you don't know that. Neville no. doesn't know. He thinks yeah, they're yeah. laughing at his comedic yeah. delivery. Is Simple. Bobbins? Is someone portraying Bobbins in the play? Y- certainly, someone is portraying a sickly. Bobbins. <laughs> Looking no. waif. No, it's a strong, <laughs> handsome man. <laughs> Viral. Is there a little marionette that's that's Pogo? Yeah. <laughs> someone, it's a shadow puppet. Someone that's in, actually from under my my hood in the in the balcony where I'm standing watching. You see four small baby weasels, Pogo's uh, scions. <laughs> oh, nice. What? I didn't know uh, there's Pogo a bunch of, so you got Pogo fu- Oh, Pogo fuck a lot. Okay. <laughs> Pogo. Uh, emerged from In under your my tent hood. while you slept? Yeah. Pogo's children all stand and watch oh, the, what are their the trail names? of their father. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to hear their names. Yeah, would we're you? waiting. Uh, Den- Dennis. Dennis. Huh? Boris. Is one named after Boris. Boris. Oh, okay. Is one named after Recti? Uh no, that'd be disrespectful. Is one named after Pogo? Gopo? Pogo the <laughs> second. Junior. And then uh his daughter Dorcas. Dorcas. Okay. <laughs> she's she's the prettiest one of them, I imagine. <laughs> yes, um, by, you can tell by the name. <laughs> That's sweet. So you you've taken his his progeny raising, on as yes. your new yeah, I'm but raising them. They can't eat on their own yet. Is that true? Oh, too I, you have to nurse. Yeah, I bottle feed them yeah. all. Yeah. Well, I actually have a thing. I have something I rigged up so that uh, Neville can breastfeed them. <laughs> it's sort of a device that's worn. <laughs> Neville breastfeeds these rats, these weasels. <laughs> okay. A little extra cash on the side. I see. Yeah. So Bobbins is observing oh, me in the play. I'm pretty proud when I see that my friend came out here. And then I also see Rolanda in the audience. Oh, you were talking her up. Rolanda, yeah, before... Before I left on my big quest to save the princess, mm-hmm. there was a fetching, fetching young lady in the village that uh, in the Golden Valley that I had my eye on, and it was Rolanda and I. Does, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Quick question: Does the rest of the village find her fetching? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. of course, she's beautiful. This is actually we're cutting. But, to, this is a conversation that that actually we had. We had <laughs> when we came yeah. back. We came back to the Golden Valley, and I said to Bobbins, and I said, Bobbins, I think I'm gonna finally. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna court. Rolanda, I think this is the time. I'm back. Am I feeling confident? And I, I think she sees me now. She sees what a hero I was. I think it's I, time. I say, I think that's great for you. I think there's, if anyone would have you, it would be Rolanda. <laughs> Thank you. How should I do it? What do I say? What do I say? I think you saunter up and say, you, you know, all that talk of those heroes that's been going around? Yeah. I point at you. No, no, no. You point at yourself. <laughs> well, maybe point at me, but make sure it's clear I'm not interested. Yeah, right. But right, say, right. you know, that's us. Okay, okay. If I'm not there, you just say that's me. And it's then me. tell her about me, you know, so that well, she knows it's real. And then she sees, oh, this guy, he's pretty cool, and he's friends with Neville. That must mean Neville's cool. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's do that, I And think. I give her a little custard treat, too. 
Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? A little custard. I bake a little custard treat for you, her. You can bake? Yeah, of course. Okay. I know that I make more than $3 a year. Yeah. Because I'm an actor. And we have very inflated salaries. Yeah, yeah. that's not a lot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I think that's a great idea. Okay. And All if you right, need to borrow Dorcas to, as a confidence boost, that's, that'd be fine. I might. It, may, it might be feeding time. It might coincide with feeding time. <laughs> so Dorcas might does. be on the premises regardless. Yeah, all right. Well, thank you, Bobbins. Of Women course. Cool. Best of luck. Will there ever be love in your life, I wonder? I already have all the love I need. What's it? And I, I just look out to the forest and I don't say another word. Oh. Uh-huh. Just- Think about and then, fucking the trees. And then Neville, he kind of he looks where Bobbin's looking, and he's really confused. <laughs> <laughs> the play ends. The audience erupts in, in cheers and clapping. And um, you know, a- after you, you exit the stage and approach Rolanda, and I need you to roll a charm check. All right, here we go. Come on, Rolanda. Come on. <laughs> what do you say to her? It's a seventeen. <laughs> All right. Yeah, what do you, you say? What do you, you, you fuck it up, but what do you? All right. Well, I've got You've a been little pining for Rolanda this whole time. Yeah. I've got a little custard treat that I've made, mm-hmm. and I've got my apparatus, and it's just got Pogo's offspring hanging off of me, suckling everywhere. Do, and do any of them ever mistake a bottle in your actual nipples? They do. Okay. They absolutely do. And Bob is Bobbin's hiding. Teeth. Bobbin's in the shadows observing. Oh, like Most behind a curtain. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's gone full Phantom in the Opera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is she like talking to somebody? Why is she back? Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, Rol- Rolanda's with her friend Jill. Uh, uh, Rol- Rolanda. Uh, sorry, if I may. If I may. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, uh, you. I take it you took in the play out there. I saw you in the audience. Yes, the hero of the valley, Recti, and oh. his legend. Yeah, Recti, he's a... It's a tragic story, yeah, really. Yeah, he was a really great guy. He's one of my best mates. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the hmm. many times. That we were kind of heroes together. Yeah, I'm a... Neville, Scarecrow number three. If oh. you saw me in the back there. You were in the back? Yeah, I I'm was... I'm a little short-sighted. I had like though. the really good line that I said there about... Get away from! Get oh, ahead. that's right. You messed up your line. Yeah, that's like a, it was like a good like. That was pretty funny. It was good, when you, yeah, it when was you a stumbled good over joke. the line. It was like I was like the, I was like the humor of the play. I was the comic <laughs> relief in the play, so to speak. Well, and, thanks uh, for saying hi. Yeah, it's great because like guys that have good sense of humor are so, like really good guys to be with. I've heard. Um, I got, what have you got there? I got you this custard treat, yeah. I, and Neville like he hands her a little custard treat. Uh, I'm lactose intolerant. Is there, oh. is there milk and custard? Yeah, is, yeah. is Bobbin seeing or all? Or is it just egg? I don't oh, know. I'm not sure. Yeah, She's allergic to, to eggs. I'm allergic to eggs better too. Better not to chance yeah. it. I'm just, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, oh my God. Okay, this is the big moment. Rolanda, hmm. you don't know this about me, but because now I just seem like I'm just a day player scarecrow in the Queen's theater, but... I'm a real life hero and, and I journeyed to the ends of the earth to save the princess and I and with my friends and I performed very heroic acts and I was a warrior. Believe you me, I was a warrior and I met many friends along the way and and I even had a girlfriend for a time. She two girlfriends technically. Hmm. And I was a very, very hmm. brave. And now I'm Bick, and there is nothing, nothing that I would like more than for you to go on a date with me. Me, Neville Shortpants. <laughs> what do you say? You Yeah. But my my boyfriend Craig's right here. And then Neville does Ooh. Neville does the like. Ooh. <laughs> Craig's the tallest halfling in the village. Mm-hmm. Some say he's just a man. Who per- <laughs> he's short a really man. short man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, does- yeah, he sort of made his way to the halfling yeah, village. Goes, yeah. His tongue rolls out. And he goes, Craig. <laughs> Sensing what's happening. Uh, Bobbins casts fear on Rolanda. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's not good. <laughs> Why? <laughs> to be, telling, to be turning a woman afraid. <laughs> yeah, because she rejected you. <laughs> oh, uh, so she. Well, that's fair. <laughs> so she. What does fear do? It makes it makes her afraid of Neville. I think it's just general <laughs> fear. Conjure an image that reflects the worst nightmare of those who see it. <laughs> <laughs> so she, for for a brief moment, imagines herself on this date with Neville. Oh uh, no, that was the worst uh, fear. No. Oh, I maybe What was the date? Oh no, I wouldn't have done uh, it. Uh he it, it's maybe both of them 
in the scarecrow field <laughs> on like his and hers podium. She has food poisoning from eating custard. <laughs> <laughs> so she's shitting herself and she's also scared of birds. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's terrified of birds. And cuz usually Craig's really tall so the birds stay away. Yeah. But uh usually he's tall. And usually then her worst tall. fear is they have children together. Oh, no. And she can't get away from They the look sc- like potato it, spuds. It, yeah. It is a uh, trap. Oh, yeah, so poor she Neville. turns down Neville. You, yeah. you pine for Neville Rwanda doesn't for see that. Quest. Neville doesn't oh, see that happening. Weird. Rolanda! Just, she, she's... <laughs> Rolanda, what's wrong? What's wrong? Craig! Uh, uh, what are you doing? And she she's weeping and turns and runs from Neville. Thro- throws his custard treat on <laughs> the ground into the dirt. What? Neville's so confused. He goes over to Bobbins. He goes, uh, Bobbins, what the heck? He Bobbins kind of pulls Neville in and... Just, Shuts the curtain. Is like maybe we wait here for a little while. What the heck? I don't know what happened. I don't understand. It's women. okay. She just she's not interested. <laughs> yeah, Rolanda's, I guess so. it's no big deal. Face is buried in into yeah, I guess Craig's you're right. giant chest. If I'm a woman sure. isn't interested, it's perfectly fine. I yeah, I feel like you're baiting me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree, <laughs> and I didn't do anything weird. <laughs> All right. Okay. Understood. It's her decision. There, yeah, she doesn't have to be interested right. in me, that's right? That's right. Yeah. Well, the dice. T- kind My of eye twitches. <laughs> <laughs> so a few days later, we are at a party. Um, both of you are at the opening of Bobbin's new academy. I have the my r- best burlap soup, suit on. <laughs> The range, burlap. yeah, burlap suit with the acorn buttons. Yep. <laughs> the best. I look like you know in Swiss Family Robinson when he makes the suit out of like palm <laughs> leaves. That's what Neville looks like. But he looks so. He made splendid. it. He's actually uh, no one would know, but Neville's maybe the best tailor. So many talents in, yeah. in the yeah. Golden Valley. He chooses to focus on maybe the wrong things. <laughs> Bobbins, we're we're at the grand opening of your academy. If you'd like academy. to, the Ranger Reading Academy. <laughs> Which I have opened. I've taken now that I know how to read very well. Maybe the best. Was it because no rangers can read? No rangers can read. Rangers are very good at uh, surviving in the wilderness. They're good at tracking. Uh, they do not know how to read. Not a one of them, except for me. I'm the only one. But I'm not even technically a ranger anymore, so I can get I'll sort of get away with it. Are all the signs at the school and all the print? It's mostly covered. Drawings. Well, they're are they all covered in like? Tarp like at a you know funeral when like the mirrors are covered. Yes, because we don't want to scare them. Yeah, yeah we don't want to scare them with words. <laughs> they would run off. Yeah, they, they, well, it's just not their scene. So you this know? is the grand opening, huh? Yeah, so yeah. What is the party like? What's it look like? The party is incredible. Uh, Rolanda's not there. Good. She was not invited. All. I mean, it is Rangers as far as the eye can see. It smells... <laughs> All these cloaks that are up. It smells terrible. <laughs> these are not people who have showered. There's a lot of fruit a flies. Long time. A lot of fruit flies. There's a lot of rodents around, rodent companions. <laughs> uh, it is one of the best everywhere. parties. But are, the, are the elite of Gold the Golden Valley all here? Like, was the prince, would the princess be here? Queen. Like, queen. They're, queen. Daffodil. They're, they're definitely stopping by. It, it Depends how long they can kind of stomach the like, is smell. Like, is this like the soiree of the year? <laughs> sort of, yeah. I mean, it's, it should be. But the guests of honor, the rangers, are maybe making it difficult. To... <laughs> okay, so None like, of them yeah, talk but the... very well either. Like, no, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're very not socialized. Well, yeah. I show up at the party in my like elaborate suit and mm-hmm. like, what do I, do I see like bobbins? Like, what are you? Doing? Well, everybody is kind of in a corner, in the corner, not talking oh, to anybody. Okay. So you, you walk into a silent room where not, I mean, there may be a low murmur. Yeah. You know? yeah. There's like some Rangers talking about moss in the corner. <laughs> is there a band or anything? <laughs> yeah, there's absolutely. There's, yeah. There's, there's a um, there's a what, what kind of a creature is it? Because it's not halflings. You guys have gotten a band from the forest. Oh, oh maybe um, wood elves or something. Fang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a bunch of yeah. satyr oh, is it satyrs? Satyrs. 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 Yeah. They have like goat yeah. legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're satyrs. It's a satyr there. band yeah. and they're playing bluegrass. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is quite the swanky affair. Look at this an open bar open bar? Yeah, Neville, that's right. Neville, Neville. Neville goes and he gets himself a hot It's all glass moonshine. Of milk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's, it's it was made in the woods. Yeah. Neville yeah. says, "Give me the hottest Very drink piney. you've got." Uh, yeah, spiced grain alcohol okay. mm. for everyone. <laughs> and uh, Neville, he he goes over to to Bobbins. Is Bobbins it? is proud, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Bobbins, my my word, this is so remarkable! Look at what you've done with the place, with the school. I can't believe my eyes. Thank this you. This is stupendous. That's right. We were able to shut down the high school. 
Oh. <laughs> to I make, because first of all, what are you doing after? Come on. Yeah. There's no reason. You're not learning anything valuable after well, eighth grade. I guess it's true. So we were able to <laughs> shut down the high school permanently for good. They've not relocated. They are just shut down now. And we turned it into the Ranger Reading School. Wow. Wow, I can't believe it. Member of the Queen's Guard, you've got your own school. Bobbins, you've really made a name for yourself. I did. And I make a lot more than $3 a year. Well, I don't make that anymore so now. I'm an, <laughs> we can laugh about that now okay. because I make much more as an actor. That's, that's good Overpaid. to know. Overpaid. Overpaid. Okay. Are you? Uh, yeah, I yeah. am. Okay. Oh, Bobbins, I'm so proud of you. And I'm proud of you. Finally, an actor. You've been rejected by your first woman <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at the yeah. age of 45. Well, <laughs> we all need a few to get to the, to I, get to I the right one. I agree. I think you keep trying, and eventually you will find someone who will have you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe go older. Uh, Try older. I might. I might. A, a coog. Something to think about. Bobbins, it seems it seem that everyone's kind of congregating over there. You've got to get this party started. You've got to get, say a few yes, words. Yes, yes, I know. The Rangers are a proud, proud people, but... Not, not maybe the most socialized. Not like me, who knows the ins and outs of society, but it is the back of mm. his get own up, Get up on stage. Right. <clears throat> Everyone, thank you. Rangers, especially. Neville clinks his glass. <laughs> yeah. tink, tink. There's one tiny desk. Is yes, the yes. I want to thank you for joining me at the grand opening of the Ranger Reader Academy, formerly high school, uh, which we were able to shut down. <laughs> like you're been dead. Now, Rangers... <laughs> I know what you're all thinking. Why are you here? You feel like you've had it, this thr thrust upon you. You don't want to learn how to read, and I get it. Reading is for losers. Well, I don't know. Reading I don't know. is for nerds. Ne Neville looks skeptical, <laughs> but all the rangers are nodding yeah, they're <laughs> along with him. However, nerds, nerds, allow me to show you what can be accomplished simply with the power of reading. I cast fly. <laughs> 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 You're hovering over everybody. I soar across the room like a great bird. <gasps> Ooh. And I land and I say Some of them are angry at the magic though. They don't they don't know what it is. <laughs> I mean, they don't yeah, understand yeah. it. <laughs> and I say, Rangers. Which? Which? <laughs> yes. Though it is nerdy and lame. This is just simply done by nothing more than reading. Oh. No! No! Reading. I say reading. quiet! <laughs> <laughs> I'm the fucking King's Guard, Queen's Guard. <laughs> can crucify every one of you unless you learn how to read. Oh, oh, yes, <laughs> yes. Let's not forget who I am, what I did. <laughs> I returned the Godstone, and let me tell you this: I wouldn't have been able to do it if I didn't know how to read. Are you flying around like Baron Harkonnen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll settle over one ranger and really intimidate just one. One of the rangers in the crowd goes. Well, how how the hell are we supposed to learn how to read? And I say, well, I'd like to introduce you to our new headmaster, Neville. Uh, short, short, pants. short pants. Short pants. Short pants. Oh, who's that? What? What a surprise! Though a loser oh. and a nerd, oh, well, both professionally and personally. No, no, well, no, there's no. maybe no one better equipped to teach you. How to read and, and by extension, learn how to fly. <laughs> Neville, Neville's eyes get a little bit glassy, and he just he just beams the most beaming of smiles, and he says, "What? What do you know now? What do you know? Neville, maybe know? best if we don't say anything. Right now. <laughs> Look, uh, read I, the room. Read I the room. I'll say a few words. This nerd's gonna teach me to fly. I cast silence on Neville, which is a book I did pick up. <laughs> I, I say, trust me, this is for your own good. Yeah. <laughs> Get him off the stage. <laughs> I, I do so. <laughs> Silence wears off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is, it's a little bit later. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's kind of drunk. Yeah. He and and uh, Bobbins are they're sharing a drink and kind of reminiscing. And he says mm -hmm. to Bobbins, oh, I forgot to tell you. Oops, uh, I got a letter in the mail. From uh, who? Uh, from the princess. The, well, the princess Princesses? is GG. GG. Your exes. Yeah. Well, yeah, technically my exes, but you know, it's, it's okay. You never did we, anything though, really. Well, I cuddle up in their lip, like a lip dog. <laughs> yeah, that's not. We stay friends, Second so base. yeah, they got a letter. That's good, that's good. Yeah. Good for you. What did they say? Well, uh, let me read it to you. Dearest, Dearest Neville and, and Bobbins. Bobbins. We hope this letter finds you well. Return safely, surely, to the beloved Golden Valley you so annoyingly droned on about ad nauseum. Life has certainly taken an upturn since you last saw us. 
Big news! We're engaged! He's rich, slimy and a real pervert. The husband of our dreams. He's positively debauched in a way only a two-headed, 11-foot-tall sister could love. Not to mention royalty. A A frog frog king king, and and we we his his queen. queen. Our polywog paramour is a bottom-shelf slime ball. One side of the gaping holes on his backside is enough to drive us mad with desire. And don't get Gladys started on his lily pad of lust. Oh, don't get me started! I won't! It isn't becoming of a lady to speak of such things, so we'll just say this. It's It's a a fuck leaf. leaf! Did we mention that he's rich? Rich! Rich! Sending our regards and affection. Puss, puss. XO, XO. Princess, Princess GG. Sounds like that yeah. creepy frog guy they maybe shacked yeah, up with. Yeah, yeah. XO, XO. Okay. Princess GG. Yeah, it, seem, it would seem here. If they're <laughs> happy, I guess. Good they luck. They finally landed a man. Best of luck to them. Yeah. A frog. How n- well, a frog, yeah. <laughs> Not a man. <laughs> but how nice for them. That's good, I guess, if they're happy. They finally found their rich pervert. Yeah. Maybe I'll find one one day, too. Don't look for that. Don't look for that. (laughs) That reminds me, Neville. I also got something in the post from our friend Antrolio. Oh, the troll, yes. That fellow, he liked a good puzzle. That's right. What's he doing? He sent me his first report card. From from, from Riddle Riddle University? College, Riddle University. (laughs) Riddle University. (laughs) He... All A's in limericks and puns. I knew he would. I knew he would. He's a stripping smart lad. I knew he would. D's and F's in calculus oh, well, and you can't, Spanish. Can't win them all. Can't win them all. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, and Julio Gutierrez doing well. is no good at Spanish. No. It's good to see. It's good to see them thriving. You know. It is. Yeah. Is he in a frat or anything? He's pledging. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. You know. Yep. It's so great to see everybody that was on a little journey. Well. Almost Several everyone. Of Several of them are dead. Yeah. Many of them died gruesome, grisly deaths. You know, Bobbins, I wish, I wish me old dad could be here to see everything I've accomplished. Acting a theatre troupe, headmaster at school. I bet you wish your your dad was around too. Nah. <laughs> 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 Ah. You know, there was, um, I remember uh, Rec D alluding to a secret that your father had to tell you. Neville, that reminds me also, I've been reading from my father's journals. Look at you, constant reader now, enthusiast. And it turned, well, I don't like it. (laughs) All right. It's it's pretty shameful. Yeah. Please don't tell anyone. I Uh, bet there were lots of entries about how much he loved his his son and how proud he was of him. Not a one. I did, however, find one. That he did, supposedly, and I still think this is a little ridiculous, he did have some concerns about the depth of the bull your father drowned in. What do you mean, concerns? He may have known that the bull was possibly a bit too deep for someone as, you know, the way your father was to be eating The way he out of it like an animal at a trough. Yes. It said, for a halfling who eats as a beast... And has the mind of a <laughs> field mouse. This bull may, I fear, be too deep. <laughs> Nevertheless, I need the cash, <laughs> and we'll sell it to him. This all the same. Neville, Neville, uh, he, you know, he takes a moment and he kind of, kind of thinks on this, and uh, and then he says, uh, you know, me dead. One of his favorite things to do was to eat his porridge every day. And uh, I think he died doing what he loved. <laughs> you know? That's good to hear. Yeah. That's good to hear. Yeah. I'm glad you guys have found peace. Yeah. Did we put the godstone back? Yeah, what happened to the godstone? I know that was I kind tried. of your your thing. Yeah, so when the when we arrived home, the first thing I do before I even go to get my my accolades and rewards from the kingdom is I I return the godstone to its rightful place in the forest mm-hmm. and have a solemn moment there. <laughs> the godstone having previously been held in the castle, but maybe you found like a special sacred grove of some kind. Oh, was it in the castle? Yeah, I return it to the woods where it's meant to be. It doesn't need to be in a castle. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. <laughs> B- buildings no are business dumb. there, yeah. The party is, is maybe reaching its climax, and the queen um, 
stands up on, on the little tiny desk that you're using as a stage. You know, it talks about her father and maybe, you know, she's going to do things a little bit differently. And um, I will make different decisions about the kingdom and rule in a different way. And the first thing that I'm going to do is find a new name for our valley. The Golden Valley was what everyone called us, not what we called ourselves. Mm. That's true. Outsiders. Out- Outsiders. I know, I know. We shall not be named by others, but shall name ourselves. And forevermore, this beautiful valley shall be known as the Gyre. The Gyre. You hear that, Bobbins? I like it. It's beautiful. Not bad. It's the most beautiful word I've ever heard. The Gyre. Must be ever. <laughs> Ever rolls off the tongue. It's the most beautiful word. Uh, calm down, no. Calm down. <laughs> calm down. The party winds down. You'll have a wonderful night. Does anyone read at all during this party? <laughs> Not one person. There's a few people trying to phonetically sound out certain things. But no it's, one it's knows awful. what any of the food or drinks are. Nothing's labeled. No. <laughs> no. You know, a few weeks later, Neville's out in, in the woods, in, in the forest, looking for his friend Bobbins. Bobbins! Bubba's, Bumski, Bubberino. <laughs> In the area, you know that he kind of stalks. Bubba's. I uh, find Bobbins. What are, what, no. I, what are you doing when I find Does you? He fly out of a tree or something. Yeah, I drop out of a tree. <laughs> what were you doing up there, Bubbins? Nothing. Just don't worry about it. Uh, I brought the picnic. Ah, I turn, I turn good. I a picnic basket on my back, and then I take out a checkered uh, blanket, and I put it on the ground, and I say, and you got the babies with you? Of course. Oh, well, I've got and my feet scurry. and apparatus. It's scary. Let's go. Come, 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 come. And, uh, and I take out, I start unpacking the, the, the picnic. And we're, we're, we're in the valley and we're looking over just a beautiful ridge line. And there's, you can see the kind of like golden hour of the sun mm-hmm. sort of going down. And, and we sit and I, yeah, I take out uh, one bowl and I pass it to Bobbins. And I take out two bowl I put in front of me. And then I take out a little kind of canister uh, that has some porridge in it. Nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Are your bowls the same? Are they deep or shallow? Or yeah, they're just, they're, they're just right. Normal. Okay. Just right. Okay. They're Goldilocks. Just right. And I yeah. say, I say, one lump of two bobbins. Two like. lumps of porridge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hit him with two lumps of porridge. Ah. I'm gonna take a, a deep swig of porridge. <laughs> and we look out at the at the sunset as the we, the weasels d- drink Suckle. from yeah. It's good to be home in the Jaya Bobbins. Indeed. All right, and that's that's the end of Super Princess Rescue Quest. Woo. Thank, thank you guys so much. Thank you, I had a Dan. Lot of fun. Um, y'all are just wonderful. That was great. Um, you were wonderful. That was fantastic. I, I, y'all did almost all of the heavy lifting for me, unless one of our other wonderful guests were here. It was blast. Um, oh, it was still us that did most of the heavy lifting. <laughs> Patrick, you know, Bobbins really did everything, I think. Yeah. Um, I did. So, yeah. Thank you guys uh, for doing this. Uh, James Armando, John Jacob, Charlotte Lindsay. Um, thanks, Rick. Thank you, Rick. Doing the tech. Doing doing Thank everything. You. Omar for supporting the show Absolutely. and everything he's done for it. I would thank Armando for doing a bunch of special music and sound effects and uh, our interns, uh, Tom and Zoe, for doing some really awesome artwork illustration of our characters. So I want to thank everybody for watching and you guys for letting me be a part of this and doing this with me. It's been a lot of fun. Um, So thank you all very much. It was wonderful. It's great. You were awesome, Dan. Thanks all the fans, too, uh, for the people that really like this tabletop RPG stuff, because I know we like doing it. And uh, y'all let us have fun like this. So thank you very much. Peace. Yeah, and thanks for watching the season. And I'm pretty sure there will be another season of Must Be Dice sometime in 2023. Maybe. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, We'll find out. But I I hope so. Because I I think we all like doing this stuff. But thanks very much. And uh, bye. Bye.